Sky. We'll be, during the course of the evening, we'll be bringing Jason out. So work with us on that, okay? I'm waiting for him to start the tour with David Archuleto. Beautiful. <laughs> it's called the We're Not Gay Tour. Ah, beautiful. We're not legal. <laughs> Don't judge us. So, but you're judges. There you go. So we're ready for our first portion of the pageant, which is the interview pageant. Are you guys ready for it? Yeah. All right, guys. Contestant number one. Hold on for one second here. I have a favorite already. Are the boys ready backstage? I hope not. Bring them out now. <laughs> yes. Contestant number one. Let's meet Carrington Karsh. Carrington, come on out here. Carrington from New York City. How are you doing? So tell me, what made you come out and join this pageant? Well, I mean, I knew that I was a princess, so I thought for a moment, how about trying to be a prince? Exactly. Yeah, so what do you do in New York? Well, I'm a manager of a dance studio there in New York for a lovely couple that used to be United States champions. Now he's a older, retired, closeted gay man, and she's a little bit fat and bitter. <laughs> well, what's the truth? Don't hold back. We want to know the real truth, right? So outside of dancing, what do you love to do? Um, dancing. Sometimes I get up in the morning and go dance. At night I get ready to go to the nightclub and then I <laughs> You love to dance. Yeah. Who inspired you to dance? Um, John Travolta when he, in Saturday Night Fever when he wore those fabulous two. And what gay prince on the silver screen inspired you? Tom Cruise. <laughs> Travolta and Cruise. That's who he likes. This is Carrington Parsh, contestant number one. Make your note. Make your note. Contestant number two, Guillermo from Havana, Cuba. Hola, baby. How are you? Yes. You have a comment there, Deborah? Uh, yeah. Not at all. Okay. No, I'm probably. That's okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So, Guillermo. I'd like a vanilla coat. <laughs> yeah. You I came over from. I want to have this child. I want this child. Thank I you. I want, the, I want this whole show to fucking end and let us both go home together. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but we're still trying to get Jason wait, to come out. Baby, I'm not cheap, baby. I'm going to make you wait a little bit. I have cash. See me later. Guillermo, how did you how did you get over here from Havana? Uh, well, it's it's a little bit of a tragic story. I came over in 1981 in the Mariel Boatlet. You guys know what that is, Mariel Boatlet. What is that? Uh, it was a flotilla of lots of Cuban people that came to South Florida. Yes. And so uh -huh. I came over in a big Goodyear inner tube. Yeah. With like 14 Cubans. <laughs> I was, isn't funny, you know, that people, we lost some good men on the flotilla, and I was for, I feel okay. I feel it's not funny. Don't okay, say funny. Elian <laughs> Gonzalez came over the same way. Elian was, uh, have you guys heard about Elian Gonzalez? Headlines from Cuba. Elian Gonzalez, he's like 15 now. He's got a beautiful, fabulous voice. Fabulous. So, como se llama este tipo? Eh, Ryan Ocean View, Ryan Seacrest. Seacrest. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest was in Havana taking salsa lessons. He discovers Elia. Elia Gonzalez is an American Idol next season. Amazing. Look for him. We, we will look for him. What do you do outside of uh, your Havana travels? What do you do for a living? <coughs> LAPD. <laughs> Sort of moonlighting, are you? Yeah, well, you know, you gotta pay the bills. Exactly. Yeah. We're glad you're here. This is Guillermo Rodriguez, number two of your family. Number two. We got two fans out here. Ah, you guys are number three. Sonny, how are you? Doing good, Paul. How are you doing? I like the shirt. Tell me about it. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a gift from my mother. And it has all these different oh, yeah. places. E each one of the flags is for a place where we lost someone in the family. Because, uh, you know, in, in Jersey, it gets a little rough sometimes. So. Wow. Uh, we lost two in Texas. Two in Texas. Texas. What do you do for a living? Yeah. What do you do for a living? I'm actually a video reporter, uh, also known as a paparazzi. What kind of what's happening? What's happening in showbiz? Give us the update. Oh, there's a lot a lot of fun stuff happening. Actually, we were trying to get uh, you know Lindsay Lohan and Samantha Ronson to come out here, you know, but they're still uh, keeping things a little quiet right now. Is there but, something going on between those two? Uh, you know, I can tell you, but I'm gonna kill you. No, they're, they're working on their little private reunion, possibly in Dollywood, you know, keep your eyes out. We'll bring them out for the princess pageant. So, uh, you were in the, in the Hamptons recently? Yes, yes, I was actually out there with uh, Wesley Snipes this weekend. He's a good guy, good guy. God bless you. Tax evasion's rough. I know, my family knows. Yeah. Yeah. We're here for you. Yeah. <laughs> any, any stars you talked to or hung out with uh, beside them, beside Wesley Snipes? Actually, yes, I, uh, yeah, because Wesley and I were just hanging out at Seven Hennessy, but yeah. uh, I ran into, uh, I don't know you guys know, Kelly 
Grip Up and uh, Marks and Sweaters. Sure, sure. Yeah, you know, good yeah. looking guy. And uh, I actually talked to him because he had these pictures that came out of him uh, back when he was uh, stripping, back when a little uh, pink banana hammock. And there was a little debate as to whether or not it was him, and he told me that was him 20 years ago. Wow. So uh, what made you want to come out and be in this pageant? Actually, you know, my, my dad's a little rough, and he uh, always called me princess. So I thought if I came out and won a prince title, I could prove him wrong. Beautiful. This is Sunny contestant number three. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, Wally. Wally Schuster's out here. Wally, how are you? Yeah. Look at all the people out there. Hey. Hey there. Go ahead. Hey, I didn't see you over there. Hey. Hi, so, Wally. Hi, Hey, Paul. Uh, you, got, you got a big strawberry there. Yeah, they got free food back there. It's great. It's really good. Yeah. So what made you want to come out and be in this uh, Mr. Dave Prince pageant, Wally? Oh, well, that's a good story, Paul. I was, uh, well, I lived in Monaco, a little farm outside of Monaco, but I went to school in Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Go hold eggs. <laughs> what do you, you call them? The, the hold eggs. The hold egg is a mythical creature that is rumored to have lived in the middle of Wisconsin in ancient times. Wow. <laughs> so what do you do out there in Wisconsin? Oh, I'm, I live on a dairy farm. We raise cows. Uh, I have a little cow, a little Bessie, that I raise for my calf, and she's a prize winner. Wow. Tell us about your outfit here. Is this what you wear on the farm? This is you. I usually wear a t-shirt, but some guy in a headset backstage told me to take the t-shirt off, so uh, I did. So when did you first know you were gay, Wally? Oh, well, that's uh, it's weird because, you know, in uh, northern Wisconsin, we don't know much about gays. I've never met a gay until I went, uh, I left school, I left home and went to the big city to go to college, so I was down in Stevens Point, and, uh, <laughs> and I met a girl named Terry, who uh, she and I were, you know, good friends, and uh, one night we was kissing, and then after we was kissing, Terry took off her hair. And uh, Terry, Terry was a guy, and uh, he talked and told me he was a gay, and, uh, and uh, asked me if I liked to kiss, and I said I did, and so we kissed some more, and, and he said he thought I was gay, and I said, well, okay, that seems like it makes sense. <laughs> this is Wally Schuster. Thank you, Wally. Sprinkles, how are you? Yeah. Hi, Paul. Hi. Yeah. Come over here. Yes. Where are you from originally? I'm from Taipei. Taipei? Taipei. 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 <laughs> 我就绑这个包啊，这样子，然后他们就钱给我。啊，对对对对对对，真的是，嗯哼，真的是very很erratic。啊，erratic，erratic，erratic，erratic，erratic，erratic，erratic，erratic，erratic，erratic，erratic，